Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Physics and Animation. Today in this video, we will try to understand the concept of motional EMF and its equations. Let's start with the basic definition of motional EMF. What is motional EMF? Motional EMF is simply the EMF induced across a conductor when a conductor is allowed to move in a magnetic field lines. Due to this motion, change in magnetic flux takes place, which induces EMF across the conductor. For the reason that EMF induced due to the motion of a conductor, so the EMF induced is termed as motional EMF. Let's try to understand every aspect of motional EMF more precisely. First, let's take a conductor of length L moving across the magnetic field lines directed from north to south. Due to this motion of a conductor, magnetic flux passes through the conductor changes, which induces electromotive force or EMF in a conductor. But what about the polarity of EMF induced? So now try to find the polarity of EMF induced. As we know, a conductor consists of positive and negative charges which flow electric current in a conductor. Therefore, during this motion of a conductor, positive charges present in the wire will experience a magnetic force QVB according to the left hand Fleming's rule and negative charges moves in an opposite direction. In the equation of force, Q is charge, V is the direction of the velocity of the motion of charge with a conductor and B is the direction of the magnetic field. Thus according to left hand Fleming's rule, force QVB will act on the positive charges in an upward direction. Then positive charges will be displaced by L and accumulate at point P. While the negative charges move opposite and accumulate at point Q. As we know that, work done is equal to force into displacement. Here the force on the charge is QVB, which displaces the charges along the length of conductor L. So we get an equation of work done by the charges as QVBL. Also, we know that work done per unit charge Q is a voltage which we can call EMF in this case. And after simplifying the equation, we get the equation of EMF that is BLV. But what will be the polarity of EMF induced? Let's understand. If we look at the conductor, then due to the accumulation of positive charges at P end, it becomes positive. Similarly, the Q end becomes negative. If the direction of motion of a conductor will reverse, then the polarity of EMF induced will also get reversed. Now the conductor has electromotive force or EMF similar to a battery, therefore has the potential to flow electric current. But this EMF is there only if a conductor is moving. Now let's move forward and try to find the same equation with the help of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Now let's add a mechanism to slide a conductor such that it will form a closed loop. In this slider mechanism, length of the slider is represented by L and the closed loop is of length x where L into X represents the area of the enclosed space from which magnetic field B is passing. Thus, if we want to calculate the magnetic flux, that is the total number of magnetic field lines passing through the area, so we can easily find it from the formula B A cos theta, where B is the magnetic field vector, A is the area of enclosed space, that is L into X and theta is the angle between magnetic field vector B and the area vector A. But what is the value of theta? 
let's try to find value of theta as we can see in this case area vector and magnetic field vector is overlapping each other due to which value of theta will be zero and cos zero is equal to one therefore we will get magnetic flux as b into a and call it initial magnetic flux okay now what if we will move the slider and increase the area it will change magnetic flux linking to an area and will induce emf in a slider for the reason that this time it is a closed loop current starts flowing in a conductor and direction of current induced can be find using right hand fleming's rule in which thumb points in the direction of force applied on a slider four finger placed along the direction of magnetic field and then middle finger will give us the direction of current induced as of now the length of the closed loop is advanced by some distance dx and thus it will give us the final magnetic flux after moving the slider which will be greater than the magnetic flux initially therefore the change in magnetic flux will be final magnetic flux phi2 minus initial magnetic flux phi1 linking to an enclosed area as we learned from previous videos of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that rate of change of magnetic flux d phi by dt gives us emf after simplifying the equation we get b into the change in x with time dt which we can call velocity and length l thus the equation of emf again becomes blv where emf with a negative sign indicates that polarity of induced emf will be in such a way so that it could flow charges in a manner to generate opposition force for the moving slider but how let's try to understand let's again apply the left hand fleming's rule but this time we know that direction of current induced is upward in sliding arm and will take it as a current in the sliding arm therefore it will be represented by the middle finger of our left hand the direction of the magnetic field is from front to back which is indicated by the four finger now notice that the direction of force induced in the sliding arm represented by the thumb we got is opposite to the direction of force applied thus it simply proves lange's law which states that emf will induce in such a way so that it could oppose the cause which is inducing it thanks for watching friends if this video really helped you please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video